I'm interested in looking at the dress history of people that are not the dominant groups in society. So I want to look at um, writing a dress history of ethnic minorities and diaspora communities because I found that when you're reading the histories of fashion, quite similar to any histories actually, it's always about what the upper classes wore and what the rich people wore and what dominant groups wore. And obviously there's so many other people around the world that have just been lesser documented. Everyone can uh, be themselves. That, I think that is the greatest, the greatest thing that I'm gonna miss. Like when you're free from your mind, and there's like everyone respect that in a train, in uh, in like in a bus or in in a public uh, in a public space, you understand each other much better because you know your territory. You respect people, and they respect you back. And that kind of like relationship, that kind of freedom that I think I'm gonna miss the most. I took one course in the Film Studies Programme and two in the Fashion Studies Programme and I found that in, film, in the film school I was able to bring my knowledge and my background in the history of fashion and the history of costume into the cinema studies which gave me quite a unique, unique perspective um, when I was writing a paper on costume and Hitchcock, for instance. We can browse or we can find another interesting subject, like I can find politics in comic books, uh, and I can, uh, we can talk about race and gender in series or in a television. That's really interesting subjects. But back in Indonesia, um, if we talk about media, we still talk about the television or the radio uh, or the newspaper system. So it's like a different situation. Here I finally found it, like the topic that I really interested to. It's like talking about social media, politics and democracy. That's, I really found it like interesting. If I want to pursue a PhD, like I want to go here and do it here.